right from the beginning, I think um, every day I've tried to make the most and wake up with a purpose and try and do all I can to serve the people. Um, I've been working with the Samoa Tourism Authority, but I've had the opportunity to do a lot of different projects and engagements on the side. But I think the highlight for me has been working with the kids and the young people. Because I think they've taught me more than I could ever teach them, especially through the classes where I got to exchange cultural dancing, especially Sibaku, which is a passion of mine. But also going to international forums like COP, that was definitely a highlight of my journey. I remember sitting down with Onomia Productions and we were brainstorming all the things that we wanted to achieve for the year. And I'm really grateful that we've been able to achieve any, everything we set out for. And probably a little bit more, but um, I'm very grateful and it's definitely an experience that I will not ever forget and won't be ever able to retain the love that sounds. Can you talk a little bit more about this uh, fire dance? You know, I see the young ones you've been nurturing, mentoring. Share some more on that. It's the Taxi Lafai Creative Arts and Performing Arts Initiative. It's something that I really wanted to bring to light. All my life I've been a Samoan Pacific dancer, lived and breathed cultural arts all my life. So I wanted to um, implement that here in Samoa and see how the young people and the kids um, make the most of it. It was a program about trying to help our kids reach their full potential and we saw the benefits from right from the first class. We see them be more confident in who they are, they come in very shy but um, the skills that they learn and the reconnection back to their culture through a different form, dancing, um, was something that was really beneficial for them. I put out the notice for the first time and I think there was 400 emails that came in and it was only going to be limited at 100 but we made the most of the 400 applicants that we had and I have been able to continue classes with those that, yeah the cohort um, but this year because there's been a lot of different travels um, throughout the region to represent as these specific islands but I've still tried to maintain Taxi Kupai and I'm looking forward to Go. And you say continue with both the maps of the that means you're going to remain in Samoa? Yes, I think my time coming back to Samoa has taught me so much more than I could ever learn in a Western context. So I really want to remain in Samoa. And I think I thrive more here and I feel more purposeful. And I'm still figuring out where I want to place myself in terms of work. But I definitely want to continue working with our kids and young people because that's a passion of mine. And if we're investing in our youth, then we're investing in our children as well. I see the district has come out in full. Tell us about it. I mean, the excitement with all the uh, little fights in there that came in. It's amazing. Yes, I was very grateful to have my single all the way from Sabai. Predominantly, Asa and Awala and Vaisala come today. They, they caught the early morning ferry to be with us. And I think they just wanted to really celebrate being from Sabai. And I think they were very proud to have me be their representative for the year. Uh, I tried my best to always put spotlight on my villages, especially the villages that are far, far away. So I have kept them at the center of everything I do and to have them here today is something I'll never forget. Um, they are our manga boys so they do a lot of work in our village, um, not only culturally but also in the land, in the ocean and I'm really grateful that they're, they're my family so they've been supporting me throughout the whole year. No, um, that's the program. Siva, that's the program. What else are you planning to do on this? During the Rain is Miss Samoa, I was able to receive funds from the Australian High Commission to put forth a project, and that project is through a film. So we've been writing since March this year a Samoan film that is taking a while to develop, especially the pre production and the script writing. But um, we will go into filming uh, later on this year, and that will hopefully flourish and bloom to be released by early next year. Um, really? Well, well, what's the film for? Um, the film we've titled Betui Lelangi. Betui Lelangi. Yeah, Betui Lelangi. And we're working with a local um, 
film company Sleeping Giants to bring this oh. film to life. Um, it's not to give too much away, but it's about a, a young girl in Sabai moving back to Ukon, um for schooling and for other opportunities. And some it highlights some of the challenges that young people face, but how we can always be reliant on our culture when we need that compass, um, when we do feel lost or feel astray. I hear you've been approached with a Miss Universe. Any can you confirm that? Actually, I haven't. <laughs> no, I haven't been approached. By Miss I have really enjoyed being the Miss Samoa for our own land and the Miss Pacific of our region because I've been able to push the priorities of our region, and I hope that I've used the platform to not only be seen but be heard and contribute um, to making an impact. I think I hope that throughout my reign. I really emphasize how this platform can be, uh, you know, you can be a leader. You can also um, am am amplify the priorities of Pacific and make a positive one. What do you think of the changes made by Amomea with regards to the tragedy? I mean, compared to the past. I mean, I'm really not gonna, but what do you think of the changes that bringing the badge into people and, and all that? Do you think that should retain? Yes. Um, Onome Productions is focused on Ene Unifale A Uleana Fale. So it, it isn't the exterior beauty of Atama Itaisa more, but it's what's within her heart, her values, and her spirit. And I think you've seen the results of what this concept can bring to life when you look at our Tamai Taisamo who have entered this year's pageant. Yes, they are beautiful externally, but what's even more beautiful is the knowledge and the experiences and the stories that they are sharing. And we were blown away yesterday with their pre-pageant interviews, shining light on topics in Samoa that we can be proud of, but also um, ways that we can move forward in Samoa to, to make a beautiful what were the challenges if there are any that you met during your reign? Um, I was very blessed to be loved and supported by the majority of them. I think throughout my reign I did face or come to know that there is still a long way to go with um, giving our kids and young people a voice in decision making or giving them the space to be able to share their ideas and share with us how they envision a future in South. I, I can um, admit that there were times where I, I do notice that uh, kids and young people don't always um, feel seen and feel heard. So I hope that shining a light on them, they've been able to feel more confident to share what they want to see in South. But I think that's definitely a challenge and we can get there one day and we are doing well at the moment but I think if we keep investing in our kids, that's the way we go. You spent two weeks with the contestants. What sort of advice would you give them? Whoever's going to become them? I, I remember in the first few days they were very shy. They were still in their shell but as they came across the pool of Samoa they started to open up a lot more and feel prouder in who they are. And I think if anything, whenever they feel alone, they feel um, fearful to go back to our Samoan Foundation to have this. And that's founded on love, humility, respect and service. I've reminded them that this is a calling to serve. It's not a calling to be served. Um, often I found that I, I wanted to put myself last to put the people first. So it's a role that it's not all glamorous. It's it's to be humble and to serve and to walk with your people, sit with your people, listen to your people. And I I know that whoever is coming to Samoa, Samoa will be in your hands. Okay, you have a few hours before you hand over the crown. Uh, when is the Miss Pacific? When is the Miss Pacific? The Miss Pacific Islands pageant is next February and it's going to be held in the Solomon Islands. So that would be the last one for you. Uh, unless you want to make any last comments, you want to share something that you see. I just want to express how much I, I love everyone in Samoa, the Samoa to the world. It's definitely been an emotional time. I feel like I've loved and protected this platform and now I'm handing it over, it's a bit sad, but I am hopeful and confident in the young women that are coming up 
and I'll always be here and I'm looking forward to moving back to Samoa and serving in any way I can.